Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Foolery. I'm your host, Big Face McGee, and today we are taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Dreadnought Buzzer. Uh, we took a look at Ripper last week with his Jaws of Life, and now we have Buzzer with his chainsaw. As you can see from the box, a plethora of accessories, which is apparently is the G.I. Joe classified team takes all the budget for accessories because we got Spider-Man without hands. We got uh, figures that should have more accessories just having like half a hand and two fingers. So kudos to the G.I. Joe classified team for having actual figures or accessories. But before we give them props, and we see this toy. Let's see if this box is better than your mother's. And front we have a, what looks like a picture, but very well maybe a render of Ripper with a cartoon of him on the, a cartoon drawing on the side. That same cartoon on the other side with 106 because they like to number numbers so they can number boxes. So people who like me who have OCD must collect them all. Uh, show Ripper with how tall he is and all the lovely accessories he gets um, show his tattoo and his belt buckle which I don't know I guess they want to know how impressive that is same photo but in blue on the other side with a QR code and back to the side anything on top nope anything on the bottom nope so Let's get him out the box. Plain Jane. Oh, well, before we got the box, this is definitely as good as your mother's. I wouldn't say it's better. As good as your mother's. A decent box. But let's get him out the box and see if this thing is worth the money. Before I completely unbox him, let's take a look at his uh, G.I. Joe coffin with his photo in the back. He comes in the box without his glasses. And we get Dreadnought Buzzer on the box with his accessories. I like I don't I think I say this a lot, but the G.I. Joe team does a really great job in putting their items in the in, even in the plastic free boxes. They make it desirable so that you don't miss the fact that you can't see the figure inside. And outside of like the atrocity that was cover girl for a couple of people, their QC is pretty spot on. So hooray for them. And now I see why they decided to show you that uh, detail on his belt, because as you can see, that belt is looking shiny. It's the first thing that draws your eye to, your eye draws to when you take this thing out the box. It literally pops right in your face. So I get it, smooth move, and I can see the tattoo. I guess they're saying, hey, these are the things that we put a lot of effort into, and it shows. But let's get him out his uh, picture coffin and see if he's worth the money and say so we have ripper out the box and i'm only slightly disappointed in this figure so we have some great things about this figure that stand out automatically um clearly i love things that uh, toys that have places to actually place your accessories as you can see he has a holster for his gun holster for his knife um i'm not a fan of this ratcheting that's happening for his torso and he's getting some decent range on it but that's annoying um, good twist on the body um, double jointed elbows double jointed uh, knees oh that's good kick Really good splits. Looking like Shawn Michaels in the face. Or the guy who played Warlock in the movie. Not Adam Warlock, but the actual movie Warlock from the 80s. Or the early 90s. You, some of you, probably a lot of you don't know what that is. Actually, no. Most of you guys, the people who are actually watching this are in that age range. Um, he has doo-doo on the side of his arms. I'm not sure if that's coming out on the camera, but... I guess that's supposed to be hair. It looks like he ran out of toilet paper and decided to use his arm, which is impressive that he can bend his arm that back, far back, can he? Actually, no, he couldn't. But um, yeah, um, so 
Oh, and he had a dude on his chest. Did a bear poop on him? And he was like, he was like, no. And he tried to protect himself and the bear got him. I don't know. That's just how I explained the drink, the green poop that's on his forearms and chest. I guess that's supposed to be hair or a tattoo maybe. I'm not sure, but it looks gross and that's bad. Okay, so what we have here is a fairly good figure. We have um, a really good group of accessories. Um, I don't like the face sculpt. And there, this is one of the older models, so his glasses do not stick on his face well. So that's why I, when I had them on there, they pop right off. Let's try to put them back on there now. That sucks. So they are on and they are off. Easy peasy. So wishes this is going to be weird, right? I love Buzzsaw. I love uh, Zantana. I have them in the collection. I love Zantana. Not Santana. Why well, can't I think of the child's name? But this figure is complete poop. And it might just be my figure, but I doubt it is. Um, don't give me glasses and give me the softest plastic ever so that they always fall off his face. Um, don't put poop on his forearms because I'm gonna wanna actually paint that a color that makes sense. I guess they were saying that he's a blonde, so his arms, they wouldn't be black. But even if it was black, it was still like poop the way it's on there. Let's try to get as close as possible. Can you see the poop? Yeah, no, I, like I said, this ratcheting, I'm just gonna call this a skip. Is it's not worth your money, guys. It's a, the concept is cool and the accessories that come with it are cool. You get um, the bat from the movie, the show Z. I forget what the name of it is, but it was Maddie's weapon. You get his chainsaw and then you get a, I don't even know what to call this thing, a piece of cutter on a hook piece of cutter on a hook so you get a piece of cutter on a hook you get Maddie's weapon and you get his chainsaw that looks like a machine gun and it probably is and I don't know much about buzzsaw to say it yay or nay on it but not buzzsaw on ripper to say yay or nay on this but I am disappointed in this figure like I said, normally G.I. Joe Classify is a hit, but this is totally a skip. Don't waste your money, guys. I'll check you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.